for today's video, we are going to get ready together. I want to share with you my little black dress holiday makeup, hair, and beauty routine. This is a gorgeous golden eye and berry lip that is beautiful for the holidays, and this is a really easy, no heat hairstyle that you can do as well. This also maintains flake free hair with lots of volume, which means no damage to your hair, no dandruff showing up on your little dress, and full volume without any of the harsh products. The first thing that I do on winter mornings after eating breakfast is to jump into the shower. Because winter mornings can be so cold, I like to warm up and clean my body. Sometimes in the shower I wash my face, and occasionally I brush my teeth. Am I the only person that does this? Please tell me that somebody else does this too. <laughs> I also shampoo and condition my hair. Over the past two years, as the weather has gotten colder, unfortunately, my scalp has started to act up with a little bit of dandruff. I've been using Hair Sanity as my shampoo and conditioner, and I really love these because not only are they cruelty-free, but they are a two-step system that delivers anti-frizz, lots of volume, and doesn't leave me scared to wear a little black dress if my scalp would be flaking. One of their active ingredients is actually salicylic acid, which can really help to exfoliate the scalp and get rid of the problem instead of just mask it, which I have noticed that some other dandruff shampoos have done to me. This gets rid of those annoying flakes and leaves my hair voluminous and silky smooth so that that way I can wear black whenever I want and not have to worry about the shoulder flick. The only thing I have to keep in mind is my cat's hair, but that is why I always have a lint roller on me. <laughs> Post a comment and tell me, number one, if you brush your teeth in the shower as well, and number two, what your biggest hair concern is. After I shampoo and condition my hair, I finish up doing my skincare stuff, and then I towel dry my hair. I throw my hair up onto my head looking like a beehive, I put on my tiger striped bathrobe, and start on my makeup. Righto, as my hair air dries, I'm gonna jump into my makeup and I am actually just going to jump straight into primer. This is the Poreless Foundation Primer from Smashbox, which is amazing. When I got out of the shower, I just applied a little bit of my Juice Beauty toner as well as some jojoba oil and tea tree as a moisturizer, so that was it. And that is why I use this, because it shrinks up my pores and makes it look like they aren't there, and it stops oil from coming through. Now for this winter look, I'm actually not going to be using foundation. I'm going to only use concealer, but I'm going to layer it and buff it in so that it looks full coverage and glowing like a foundation, but it doesn't feel heavy. Now this is the All Nighter from Urban Decay. It is 24 hour wear, it is oil free, and it is waterproof, which in the winter I don't exactly know why you would need it to be waterproof, but if you're ice skating and the ass breaks and you fall into the lake, at least your makeup will still look good. <laughs> Hypothermia looks good on you. So buff it out with a beauty blender, and then wherever it doesn't fully cover, or if I have any little spots that are showing through, I'm going to go over with another layer just to make this look medium to full coverage, but without feeling cakey or heavy. Add a little more to those places where I got them spots. This is what a period breakout looks like. It just went and attacked me as if I were a man with an acne beard. Next, it is time for powder because I am going liquid foundation free. I want to make sure that my makeup stays on and still looks fresh. I'm using the Tarte Cosmetics little holiday brush set. These are so cute. They look more like Diwali than they do holiday, but I don't care. They're adorable. I am also using the Tarte Double Duty BB Powder. It is phenomenal. You can build it just like I can with a concealer. And it stops my oil from poking through. And it has a little bit of a colored tint. So if you do got some period acne beard showing through, it really can help cover those up without making you feel cakey and without accentuating dryness. Next, with another chart brush, I am going to be doing some bronzer. This is Lily Lolo. It's that natural brand that I'm obsessed with. They have more natural ingredients, so it's not as bad for your skin. Um, you can purchase this brand at Alia.com or like the detox market, or I'm sure you could even find it on Amazon. This stuff is legit amazing. And I'm using this bronzer. It has a slight shimmer, but it doesn't show any like texture, which is appreciated. And it doesn't look like a spray tan. Some bronzers look like a spray tan, and my skin tends to to get lighter during the winter and that's a big no-no because then I just look like a pumpkin that had its moment at Halloween and just didn't get the memo that like it's Christmas now. So the fact that this doesn't do that to me is highly appreciated. 
Next is for blush. This is Cosmopolitan from the brand NU. And again, this is a natural product. This one is from Alia.com and it has no red number 40. Um, red number 40 is in a lot of blushes and it can be unhealthy for your skin. So I'm gonna put this on with an IT Cosmetics brush and uh, give us a little bit of cranberry color up in here. Look at what happened to my favorite highlighter. I dropped it on the driveway. <laughs> I'm still trying my best to salvage it though. This is a Tarte Cosmetics brush. This is the Becca Amethyst highlighter. I'm just taking the smallest, saddest amount and I'm um, gonna put this a little bit down my nose, a little bit here, and a little bit on my top of my cheekbones. Now, I've mentioned this before, if you've got acne, highlighters can accentuate acne, so do not put this anywhere that you have scars or a breakout, which is why I'm very selective about it and I don't, I don't glow up just because I don't want to be an acne disco ball or a scar disco ball, you know what I'm saying? But a little bit here doesn't hurt, you know? I'm a special snowflake, I got a glitter like one. And we take a regular brush and we buff it all around just to make it look natural. Hell yeah! Moving on to eyebrows, this is from Catrice. This is a drugstore line that is cruelty free that I love. This is a brow pencil that has kind of replaced every other brow pencil that I use. Um, it's just great. The problem is you do have to sharpen it, but it's got a little spoolie at the end. So I use this just to fill in these things, make them look somewhat tamed, a little bit less Sasquatchy, and then I just comb them into place. Baby, go brow for Sunday. Now that I got these caterpillars up on my face, I'm gonna brush them out and say, don't look like Sasquatch. Look like Angelina Jolie. Kate thinks bye. Next, I'm gonna do a little eyeshadow. This is from Ardell Beauty. It is the Sensational Eyes eyeshadow palette. I really like the formula. It's drugstore, so it's inexpensive. And this one is in the color Sunset. So I am using my favorite Eco Tools brush, and I'm just gonna take this lightest color and kind of outline my brows. I'm just gonna kind of push this up underneath, give us a little bit of a, a little bit of a brow bone there. I'm also going to use a little bit of this in the inner corner of my eye. Now, if you really want these colors to pop, go ahead and use yourself a primer, but I find that the Ardell Beauty is really nicely pigmented, as you can see, so this is fine for me. On a different Eco Tools brush, I'm going to take a, I don't know, what do you call that? Dome-shaped? Blending? It's a thing. Take this thing and I'm gonna stab it into this copper. This is a really nice color. It reminds me of Amber Lights from MAC, but again, it's a drugstore and it's cruelty free. Uh, and it's probably a lot more natural. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna pop this into my crease. We gonna pop, lock, and drop it into that crease. And just kind of apply it sloppily and blend upwards into that highlight color. Then I'm gonna take this nice minxy brown color and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, only a little bit less sloppily and more precise. So just right there in a crease. And this is just gonna give that crease some depth. On the other side, it has this, I don't know, what do you call this? Not totally flat, but sort of flat brush thing. And I'm gonna take the exact same kind of minxy mocha color and I'm just going to attach this to my lower lash line. So you're making that outer V thing that those makeup artists are always talking about on their Instagrams. You're just gonna connect them, like you're playing connect the dots and you winning. Uh, those dots are connected. Again, take your blender side and a little bit more of that amber lights lookalike color and just make sure that your eyeballs be even. I'm funny because I have one eye that's slightly larger than the other, so it kind of throws off my makeup sometimes. It's fun being different, you know? Very last but definitely not least, I am taking this first brush again and I'm gonna take this beautiful gold color. This one is legit bright gold, like Fenty Beauty trophy wife gold highlight status and I'm just gonna pop this right into the middle of my darn eyeballs. And when I put mascara over this, this is going to pop like a light bulb and it's gonna look amazing against the contrast of some black eyelashes. You know how we do. Glowing like the star on top of a Christmas tree. Where'd you get that from? I got it from my mama. 
And next I'm gonna move on to some eyeliner. The first one I'm using is from Pacifica. It's white. Pacifica is a drugstore natural brand, which I love. And especially if I'm shoving this into my eyeballs, I wanna make sure that it's somewhat healthy for me. So I am using this right on my lower lash line. And I'm using this on the inside of my eyeball. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because it's going to extend the whites of my eye and actually make my eyes look bigger. So we're doing some Elsa from Frozen Eyes IRL up in here. Next, I'm going to work on my lash line and I'm actually gonna go back in this palette and I'm going to use eyeshadow, this dark brown. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I still have a hard time getting my eyeliner even sometimes. And if you use a powder, it is a lot easier to erase and clean up. So I like to outline my eyes with powder, make sure they look somewhat even, and then go over with a liquid liner. Oh, look at that. I think I saw a booty tat. This is a Pixie Beauty angled brush, by the way. All right, now that my severe OCD has been quelled and these are somewhat even, I will go over them with a liquid liner. The one that I'm using is from 100% Pure. I love this stuff. This is in Blackberry, which is literally pigmented with blackberries. They are a natural line. So I am just going to very carefully put this on my eyeballs and trace what I already did. And the purple and the gold looks so good together. And I just thank the universe for making blackberries because they are tasty AF and they look really good when turned into an eyeliner. Now that I got that on, I'ma pop on a little bit of mascara. This is one from Lily Lolo. I got this at alia.com, which again is that natural beauty website. And if you want it in person, it's also available at the Detox Market. I talked about it in there. It is phenomenal. And I'ma use this to bump up these lashes. And again, it's natural, so if I stab myself in the eyeball, it's not gonna burn as horrendously as if it was something that was full of chemicals. Beauty is pain, okay? Beauty is pain! There'd be a birdie outside my window. That's a big ass bird. These are new launches from Jake Hat Beauty. They are eyelashes and they are cruelty free. Now they come with glue, but I've noticed that they're a little bit sticky on their own, like the glue that they use to adhere them to to the plastic thing is a little bit sticky itself. So sometimes I can even get by with putting this on my eyeball without using glue, which means they're a lot easier to get off. And I lost my tweezers and I'm too damn lazy to go look for them. So I'm going to attempt to apply these with my fingers, with my finger dingers. These are in number, I don't know, they have cats on them, which is why I was pressured into buying them. Taper ELT VLT05. Creative! Oh my god, did I do the thing? Did I do the thing? Just get these little suckers onto your eyeballs in whichever what way you can. Yay! Now do more mascara so that you can blend them in and make them look like they are all yours. And oh, come on now. Come on now, don't lift up on my corner. <laughs> come on now. Back in your cage. Good, now cast a magic spell so that they will stay on your eyes and let's move on to lips. <laughs> For lips, I have a lipstick from Physicians Formula in Berry Babes. It is Berry Babes. Berry Bies. It's too small, I can't read, and I'm dyslexic. But this is a hypoallergenic lipstick. It is from the drugstore, and Physicians Formula is honestly amazing. And also, a berry red lips along with golden eyes looks amazing for the holidays in a black dress. Also, can you see the tip of this? It's like the Matrix Super Fragilistic Cala Expialidocious, and so it makes it really easy to get these points on like these big Kylie Jenner-esque lips with no lip fillers and no brush. <laughs> Mwah. Last but not least, I'm going to do a dab of metallic liquid lipstick. This one is from Smashbox and it is in the color Petal Metal. It is a nice pink petal metal and it is gorgeous. So we're gonna give ourselves some ombre without the headache or the hassle of actually having to do a bunch of ombre stuff. Look at this, now my lips match my eyes and my eyes match the Christmas tree. 
Now, once I've got that done, it is time to take down my hair and style it. The conditioner is super hydrating and it also adds a lot of volume to hair. So once this air dries naturally, I'm going to be able to put this up in a nice updo with no heat styling, which means no heat damage and I save an hour in my beauty routine. <laughs> Now that my makeup is done, it is time to get unnaked. I switch into a little black dress and I throw on some sparkly accessories such as a necklace and earrings and anything else that makes me look like a cute little sparkly Christmas tree. <laughs> now that my hair is dry and voluminous, it is time to style it. I am taking it into a low ponytail and I am sectioning out a few little pieces at the front for a little bit of extra purdy. I'm going to loosen it just a touch. I'm going to get my fingers like little pinchers and I'm going to go up from the bottom. I am then going to pull the ponytail through. Then I'm going to take a fun hairpiece and slip it right in the back. I hope that you had fun getting ready with me today because I had fun getting ready with you. I hope that you can use some of these makeup tips, some of these hair tricks, some of these product recommendations, and everything else in this video for your little black dress events or anything for the holidays that you may be attending. If you liked this video or learned a little something from it, be sure to let me know. And if you have other video requests, be sure to post them in the comments because I think I'm going to try to do Vlogmas, which is like a video a day, which will include vlogs and regular posts. I think I really haven't made up my mind yet. but. The future will progress, nonetheless. <laughs> Always remember that it is you that puts the you in beautiful, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. <sighs> Love you guys. Bye.